Good evening, friends. I hope y'all are doing awesome on this gorgeous fall day. We are finally in fall. Are you guys loving it? I'm loving it. It makes me want to make things like this. Just like this. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're gonna, I'm going to show you, hey Susie, you're always the first one. Um, we're going to show you how to make this cute sampler tonight. It's so fun. We're going to make this at the team gathering this weekend. So if you're on my pretties team of happy shoppers, you can kick back. Hey, Tracy, and know that um, you get to do this this weekend. Everything will be cut and ready and prepped for you. I love it too, Susie. It's just like so crisp and clean and wonderful. Everybody chime in and tell us if you like the cooler weather or if you want summer to return. If you want Summer to return, I'm not sure we can be friends. Hey, Kathy. We might could be, but it would be negotiable. <clears throat> so, first I want to... So, we had our retreat this weekend, and it was fantastic. And I'm going to talk to you about that next week. Hey, Audra. We're going to look at all the projects from the retreat. But um, I just wanted to show you one of my favorite things that uh, was one of the gifts that we made that I, that I gave at the retreat. So one of the things I like to do is spoil everybody with fun treats. So thank you, Kathy, for sharing that. Um, so this is one of the gifts that we had at the table when people arrived. And this is a little Tic Tac slider box. So that was a lot of fun. But I'll show you all the fun goodies um, that we had at the retreat next week. This week we're going to focus on fall. So, first I'm going to show you some gorgeous projects. So, this sampler is uses the Come Together Suite. Alright? And the cool thing about our suites is they're coordinated. Hey, Cindy Sanders. And you, it's by Granimals. You take everything in this suite, you put it together, it's going to look awesome. So the cool thing about this suite, and honestly, I bought it so long ago, I have forgotten how affordable it is. The entire suite is only $70. Thank you, Rebecca. So you get the stamp set, the framelits, the designer paper, the ribbon, and the elements all together for only $70, which is a great price for a suite. And then here's a close-up of the paper. So you see how pretty that is. Um, actually, we may as well just show you the actual paper. We've got these little pumpkins in such a neat color scheme. A little stripe, so you can even use this at Christmas. Feathers. A cute little, I guess that's a plaid. This is a neat little thing we used a few weeks ago on our Facebook Live. We've got some Cajun Craze sheets. And then some really pretty neutral sheets. Um, we've got the wood grain, which is a great background for taking photos. And then this little white burlap polka dot situation. And we've even got some Mary Merlot in there. So the colors are... Cajun Craze Early Espresso, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. Great. Awesome. Okay. So let's see if I can not knock that down. <clears throat> Here are the other things in that suite. We have some, um, these elements, tags and feathers. I've already used all the feathers, but these are the little wooden tags. They're super cute. You can dye them different colors. And then here's the feathers. This is a full pack of them, but that's what the feathers look like. Very cute. And um, the, the ribbon, we have this like neutral colored ribbon. I think it's crumb cake. Let's see what they're calling it. It looks crumb cake to me. Crumb cake? Mm -hmm. And then we have some Cajun Craze twine. So you may know right now that these ribbons, these two ribbons are on back order, but they're due back. Um, in a couple weeks. So don't hesitate to go ahead and order them because you'll get in line and they'll pop right into your mailbox when they get here. So let me show you some projects using the Come To Gather Suite. This is a cute little gift I made for my stamp club. 
and um, this dark chocolate square was just the perfect color for it. This is a swap I received. Really pretty. Simple, be it pretty. And look, they use gray granite here. So that's a neat little situation we got going. Remember we made this card last week, I think? The week before last? Week before last. So scroll back to your Facebook Lives if you didn't see that. We have the designer paper for our turkey card. Thank you, Audra. You're so sweet. We've got this gorgeous card that I made for club and then re redesigned, so we'll have to revisit it pretty soon. This was kind of a fancy fold card that I made for a swap um, using that sweet Neato Frito. Some more of the designer paper here on a cute card using the... Um, pumpkin apple punch and then this is the last project we made at club using the um, framelits to make these pretty leaves so lots of gorgeousness going on with the come to gather suite all right now let's get talking about one more thing and this is what's coming with paper pumpkin so you may know that this kit has already shipped. The deadline for it was October 10th. This is gonna be a Christmas card kit, but what's coming is a Christmas tags kit. Now, sometimes they'll have the leftovers of the Christmas card kit, um, like extra. So if you subscribe for the tags kit and there are any of the card kits left over, you can order past kits as a new paper pumpkin customer. So either way, you should subscribe and get the Christmas tags, <clears throat> but it's a possibility that you will also be able to get the um, Christmas cards as a previous kit since you'll get, at that point you'll be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. Hey, Paula Bobbitt. All right. <coughs> Let me drink some tea here. All right. For some reason, my voice is cracky tonight. Let's talk about this sampler. Um, let me give you one more look at it real quick before we dive in. It's kind of hard to get it all in at once because it's so big. So it's 12 by 12. And what we use for the sampler is no secret. It's a piece of paper. It's a piece of cardboard from one of our designer paper packets. So just find one of those. It's nice and sturdy. Um, you can use 12 by 12 Whisper White cardstock, but why would we do that when we have something for free? All right, so what we're going to do is start with our, and you might want to take a gander. The, the, the squares on the sampler are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Those are the espresso squares. And then the designer paper squares are two and a half by two and a half. Okay, so... Um, the rest of the dimensions um, you can get on the PDF. If you are on my team, you'll get the PDF this weekend. Actually, tomorrow, I'll, I'm sending it out in an email, and you'll make this sampler at the team meeting. Everything will be done for you. Or you can get the full sampler by ordering $40 or more this week, and you'll actually get a to-go pack to make the sampler with everything already done for you. Um, and then any order this week will receive the PDF measurements. So that's exciting. Okay, let's get started. So you're going to start with your... Um, <clears throat> 12 by 12. And then I just go ahead. It's like a constant playing like your concentration game you used to play when you were a kid. And um, I just take out my nine espresso squares that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters and to be honest I just eyeball so I just start messing with them until they get to be um, centered and it doesn't take that long to do it's actually pretty quick so you're like voila happy day okay so now, what I'm probably going to use, which I obviously I don't have in front of me, is um, I'm going to use tear and tape to put these down because this is a home decor piece. So I would, let me see if I can find some tear and tape in my little bag of tricks over here. Actually, I have a big bag of tricks somewhere. Oh, 
it's hiding. Um, oh, yeah, your tearing tape is the first thing I see. Eureka! Okay, I'm just going to give you an example of how I would stick one of these down, but you'll, you'll figure, you can do the rest. So you're really just going to take a piece of tearing tape, piece of tearing tape, when you use tearing tape, smash it down and then peel it off from the side. That's the secret on how to be successful with tear and tape. Hmm. Unless you're doing a live video. Okay. Get everything kind of repositioned. And then, boom. So, I think it's good to do the middle one first and then just work your way out from there. So, I just go ahead and stick all my espresso things down oh thank you Kathy I don't know it I guess it's a skill I don't know how I have that skill but it's just some weird skill that I have to center things <clears throat> all right so next let's just start and go clockwise um, so we're going to start with the piece of designer paper that is um, feathers okay and this is going to just go on with snail. And actually, before you do that, I am going to create this sampler with an alternative ribbon combination. So you guys know that um, those current ribbons are on back order. But guess what? We have gorgeous fall ribbons in our annual catalog. Linen thread. And then this is a, a combo pack from the Magnolia set. So we're just going to tie... First, we're gonna snail this down. And if you're coming to the team meeting, you're gonna be doing all this. So you're gonna be a step ahead of the game because you'll already have seen me do this. All right, and I just tied a knot in this ribbon because I don't know, I thought a bow was just a little too much. So tying a knot in this ribbon. And that's literally the first square. So nothing outrageous. None of these squares are really that difficult. Um, they're just, each one is like its own little situation. Okay, so that's going there. Square number one, complete. All right, square number two, we're using a piece of <clears throat> Pretty peacock paper. Pretty peacock paper, say that three times fast. And you're gonna punch a piece with the story label punch. I love the story label punch because it um, it came out around the time that I got to go to this story retreat uh, that Stampin' Up! sent me on and I just have such great memories of that. Um, now I need my piece of Whisper White, which I've buried. Isn't it always the Whisper White that you can't find, like the most obvious piece. Oh, mercy me, let me go. Whoa. Oh, here it is. All right, so the colors that you're gonna need to ink this puppy for this whole sampler are Early Espresso, Rich Razzleberry, and Cajun Craze, okay? So those are the inks you need to get out when you get ready to do your sampler. But for this one, we're gonna use Early Espresso. And we're looking for the Gather Together stamp. And we're just gonna stamp it somewhere in this vicinity, not like that. It's best to stamp on a level surface. Okay, and then we're gonna use our one and a half inch circle punch. Pan. All right, and this is going to go down here with <clears throat> dimensionals, with a dimensional. Okay, and then you're going to find your square that is checked. It's like pretty peacock check. And then this pops up with dimensionals. Hey, Chris Haskins. How are you? Is it is it cooler down in Texarkana? I hope so. 
I hope so. All right, so square number two, done. Square number three is a little strip of this mint macaron paper, as well as this little guy. I spent a fair amount of time last night cutting all these little squares for our gathering, so our team members can do that. And by the way, did you know, Chris Haskins, that um, all our team gathering um, projects are all available to go? So if you're on the pretties team and you don't live in Little Rock, then you can order a kit to go that's shipped for only $10. So that's pretty exciting. And now you'll have instructions about how to make it. All right, so all we're gonna do is pop these two leaves up with the dimensionals. I just glossed right over that while I was talking. But look at these leaves, y'all. I cut them out with the um, gathered leaves dies. Okay, and um, these are all the dies. Oh, you know what? I bet some of the dies are still downstairs. They are. But you see the detail in these dies? Um, oh, wait. Here they are. Okay. They're in this little bucket. So you've got um, leaves, pumpkin, a big leaf, and there's one more smaller leaf somewhere in the mix of happiness here. So these are all your um, leaf framelits that come in this stamp set. And I'll show you real quick the stamp set. It's got lots of great sentiments. We're actually going to use all of the sentiments in our, in our sampler. Yippee! Alright, so that is square number three except for now we need to add our twine bow. Hi, Pamela Berry. I hope you're doing well. I'm just showing this pretty fall sampler. Actually, this sampler was designed by my uh, stampin' friend, Rhonda Wade. Um, I adapted it just a tiny bit for, um, for our purposes because of the back-ordered ribbon. And then uh, I just cut out a few of the leaves because there were so many leaves in her design and I just couldn't cut that many leaves. So you're just going to pop a little twine bow or linen thread bow onto this square. Voila! Square number three is done. The next square, we're going to use this cute little polka dot situation. And, yeah. Where's our tax return? I'm doing a video. So, the next thing we're going to do is stamp this here. And, this says, so glad to have you in my life. I'm so glad to have all y'all in my life. So we're just going to stamp right this in the middle of that little strip. Love it. And that just goes down with snail. Like so. And then you're going to grab the razzleberry leaf and one of these gorgeous gold leaves. Or the smaller one. So, uh, is this a smaller one? Yes. So you've got the razzleberry and the gold. And you're going to use your dimensionals. Hey, Tiana. So you're popping this down here. And then you're going to pop the gold one down here. Alright, and then... Um, I'm going to use the twine thread again. Like I said, um, go ahead and order the Cajun Craze twine. It'll be here well in advance of fall, of, of Thanksgiving. 
I think it's the last week of October when it comes back in stock. But just so that you can see how to make it right now, I wanted to go ahead and use some ribbon that is in stock. So either one, whichever one you like better. So you're going to pop that. I did not pop that where I wanted it. Right there. Voila. Square number four. All right, so square number five is right in the middle. And we're going to use our, I guess you'd call this our just kind of woodsy wooden background. Now this we're gonna stamp with Rich Razzleberry. And we're looking for the stamp that says Season of Thanks. Right in that lower corner. Wow, isn't that cool? Uh, love it, real life. It sounds like something my hubby would do. Yes, yes, he wants to know where our tax return is because he's filling out the information for the FAFSA application, which is the federal application for student financial aid or something or other. Basically, we have a son that's a senior, so we have to think about that. All right, now this guy, I would prefer to stamp and then cut with a frame whip, but I'm going to give this a shot. Um, we'll have the Stamparatus at our team meeting to do this much easier, but I'm going to just go ahead and see what I can do since this is a photopolymer set. I think this is actually going to work pretty well. So we already cut it. Wow, I'm a genius. Genius. Okay, so we're going to stick this down with, I'm going to do these two with snail. And then I'm going to pop this, actually this is going to go with snail too. Oh, of course in the middle of my video my snail adhesive is going to run out. Stupid guy. Alright, let's see. We have a gold leaf that we're going to stick here. And then we have a mint macaron leaf that's going to go right over top of this. And I'm probably, on my sampler, I did another dimensional, but I think I would prefer just a glue dot here so that doesn't get too crazy. So one, two, three, and then again, another little twine bow. I'm gonna be tying a lot of twine bows this weekend. I'm pretty fast at it, but. Okay, stick that on with a glue dot. Okay. Square number five. Now we're going to square number six. I'm going to have to make sure when I get to seven that y'all can see me. All right, the next square is our pretty, like, seafoam mint pumpkin situation. And I'm going to need to get a snail refill. I'll just show y'all how to refill your snail, in case you didn't know. Um... I have a snail refill somewhere really close to me. Where is it? I had my retreat this weekend, so everything's a little out of sorts. But I have already put away my adhesives, so they're right where they're supposed to be. All right, so, oh, well, anyway, I grabbed a full snail, so that's one way to do it. But um, the way you refill it is you just take this out throw this part away, replace it. Super simple. All right. So we're going to pop this up here. And then you're going to take a small piece of your ribbon, which I've probably buried. 
so just a small enough piece like this. And then I'm going to use glue dots to pop that sucker down. So I just put a glue dot on either side of that ribbon. And um, like this. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is stamp on this square. Well, there's two things, not the last thing. The next thing I'm going to stamp on here is the Wishing You Well sentiment. And I'm going to do that in the espresso. And you're just going to trim that. Dimensionals. Voila. Isn't this cute? Just step by step. And remember, um, you will get all these pieces already cut if you um, have an order this week from me. All right. Well, $40 or more, you'll get all the pieces. And if you just want the PDF with all the measurements, then any order this week will receive the PDF. All right, now we're going to stamp our pumpkin. Voila. And it's going to go right here. Is that not the cutest? Woo woo. You know what? I know it's just noticed that my pumpkin here is sea foam, but it's going to be bent because that's what I did. Okay. But you could do it either way. Let's do the seventh. The seventh square. And this is using, whoo, hello. I really do love these colors too, Chris. So pretty. So you're going to punch two medium daisies. One, two. All right. And the trick on offsetting daisies is you're going to need to use not just one, but two glue dots. If you use one glue dot, then they tend to just shift around. So I just get two glue dots and put them right there in the center. And then I'm just going to offset it like so. And then if you got two glue dots there, that is not going to twist around. All right, then we're looking for our square that is the multicolored. And then that's going to go up with a dimensional, like so. And before you do that, you're going to wrap a piece of twine around this whole situation. Tie a bow. This twine goes a long way, so you've got plenty to go make a million samplers and still have twine left over. All right, then we're going to pop our daisy here. And the last thing we're gonna do is take our circle punch. Now this circle punch is an inch. Anything close to that, I think it's an inch. That's a half inch. Anything close to a half inch, I used a, on this one I think I used a uh, 3 8 inch. So something around that area. And just glue dot that right there in the middle of your medium daisy. Is that not so cute? All right, there's that square. And can y'all see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll shift it up. All right, two more squares to go, friends. We're going to step this down with snail. And then we're going to use our two-inch circle punch on Whisper White. And then we're going to use our Starburst punch with Rich Raspberry. That's a great combination of punches to have if you don't already have it. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way because I'm going to stamp off of the, my project. So we're going to get the wheat stamp, but first we're going to get our sentiment that says, 
May the season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. So I don't know if you thought you didn't need this fall set, but now obviously you do because look at all these wonderful elements in it. Okay, now we're going to go with our wheat. And it's going to be, this is where they, we're going to pull in the Cajun craze. The obvious fall color. Love it. Okay. And then we're just going to layer that up onto our thing here. We're going to pop this up with dimensionals onto our eighth square. Boom. That is all for that square. And then the final square is our Mary Merlot Cajun Craze. Like, who would think that would, that would color or combination would go? But that's why Stampin' Up! has um, product designers that figure all this stuff out. And I just say, ooh, ah, I love it. All right, the very last thing... This square on the on Rhonda's PDF was gorgeous. I was just I, I had it with cutting out leaves. So I went from three leaves to one. I like it because I love that leaf so much that I just wanted to accent it. I wanted you guys to see um what did you try to order, uh Audra? Tell me what you tried to order. While you're while you're um, answering me, I'm going to go ahead and tie the little, the last little twine bow. There, and that's gonna go onto our, I threw the glue dots somewhere, here they are tend to be a throwing stamper. I like to throw things. Okay, so there's that. Oh, the paper. Yes, the paper is on back order until today. So go ahead and order it because it will come. Uh, the, the come to gather designer paper is on back order, but it's already off. So you should have no trouble ordering it um, because it was due to be back in today today or tomorrow something like that so now you can see all our little squares line up like a game show and make this gorgeous fall sampler okay this has so much um, strength for backing that you can pretty much just set it up in a like a um, what you call it I have like a little um, plate holder and I just set it just like that in my plate holder to display it. You can also frame it in a 12 by 12 frame. You can find those online pretty easily. Um, so that is the come to gather sampler. I hope you enjoyed it. It's actually, it actually comes together pretty easily. Now let me tell you a story about the come to gather suite. I've already talked about the whole suite. You can order with just this quick item number. Boom. Put it in. You, you put that in. You're going to get the whole packet had to make this sampler. The only thing you'll need is this 12 by 12 piece and I'm guessing you have some of that attached to a pack of designer paper at your house. Thank you Pamela. Like I said my friend Rhonda designed it and tweaked it just a little bit but the come together suite $70. Boom. Get it. You get your free packet to make the sampler. However even better deal is the starter kit. So the starter kit, you'll get $125 in goodies for only $99, okay? Which means you could get the whole suite, okay? Remember, that's the designer paper, the stamp sets, the framelits, the ribbon, the um, tags and feathers elements. You get it all. But you could also add some peacock cardstock, some espresso cardstock, espresso ink, and peacock ink as well as the story label punch or any of these punches that you might not have. The ones that we used are the two inch, the one and a half inch, the starburst punch, the medium daisy punch, and the story label punch. Okay, so any one of those punches that you would want to add, you could add that for around 
and then I rounded it out with a snail refill. That came up to exactly 125. So let me do this magic math for you. If you ordered that from me, not on a starter kit, with tax and shipping, that would be $149, okay? But with a starter kit, it's only $99. So there's no shipping, but with tax, it's like 107. So you can do the math. You're gonna save $42 by getting the starter kit. And at anything you order after that will be 20% off because you are a happy shopper. No obligations. So that's something that you definitely need to consider if you haven't already. Um, all right, so drawing for the prize from last week. Um, I went ahead and drew before we got on here. And the winner of our prize from last week is Rebecca Fox. She wins the Holiday Rhinestones. And be sure to like and share this video so I can put you in the drawing for next week um, for a fun prize. And remember, next week we're going to be talking all about the projects for my holiday retreat. Okay, we appreciate you being here and hope that you will um, have a great night. Bye.